Northern Virginia Democrats are celebrating wins in two key congressional races, while Virginia Republicans gained just one of the three seats they targeted. The big red wave predicted by Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin did not materialize yesterday. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey looks at why Northern Virginia congressional seats are staying blue. You can feel it happening. This is exactly what happened last year. Exactly. Sweeping across the Commonwealth of Virginia is that same red wave. A bold statement from Governor Glenn Youngkin at rally after rally in Northern Virginia for Yesley Vega and Hung Kao. But the only seat that flipped was in a district redrawn to be more red in Hampton Roads. Democrats Abigail Spanberger and Jennifer Wexton both winning third terms. Virginia remains a competitive two-party state. That may be the broad message from Election Day results, but political analysts say Republicans fell short in Northern Virginia because they picked two candidates who wanted strict limits on abortion and questioned the 2020 election results. Running as an election denier in Northern Virginia districts is not a prescription for victory. Spanberger's prescription for victory, a relentless ground game. Can I ask if you're voting for Abigail? Appreciate that. Redistricting put Spanberger in new territory, so she had to introduce herself to tens of thousands of constituents. Pamela Young helped lead the effort in Stafford. We knocked on thousands and thousands of doors, and we made sure that constituents here in Stafford County knew that she was the real deal. Abby, Abby. The image Spanberger projected? A very positive image as an independent Democrat willing to break with the leadership of her party nationally in order to focus on the key issues of concern to her constituency. It won over Democrats and, most importantly, swing voters. But abortion rights also driving the decision for many who supported her. There's no doubt looking at last night that the abortion issue was huge in mobilizing Democrats, getting them excited about a race. It is so time. As for Governor Youngkin's influence, the red wave of 2021 did not wash into Northern Virginia in 2022. Youngkin will look at this and say, well, we picked up the seats. But when you look at it on a more granular level, what you find is that his influence was um, very, very limited. And the leaders in both parties won't have much time to rest and assess. The entire General Assembly is on the ballot next November. Reporting for News 4, I'm Julie Carey. Abigail Spanberger's victory margin was 11,000 votes. Jennifer Wexton won by 17,000.